Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be twisting a balloon cupid. There you go, ta-da. Pretty easy to do, thanks for being here. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Also, don't forget to click that little bell, that way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about the balloons we're gonna use. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this design, you're gonna need uh, a couple of 260s, a 160, and then your baby print. If you just have a blush balloon, that's okay. You could probably just draw it on as well. Okay, there we go. Let me go ahead and put that away just for a second. Put it right there in the middle. I think that'll work out just fine. All right, so we're gonna start with the baby body with blush, and look at uh, what I did here. I left about a hand script there, and you can still see. I'm not gonna do like little hands or digits for the fingers. I'm just gonna leave them uh, nice and rounded and keep it nice and simple. Uh, that way, if you're trying to make this quick, you'll be able to, no problem. And then our pink, I overinflated. I only need a little bit of this balloon. And in this one, I inflated as much as I want because in a minute, I'm gonna tie it uh, end for end here, and then we'll split it in half and get our wings that way, okay? So if this is your first time to my channel, um, what I usually do is I'll bring down the sound and I'll do voiceover while I twist. So uh, we'll make it nice and simple. We'll minimize the squeaking and maximize the teaching. That's right. So a uh, quick shout out for all my friends that uh, I saw at convention. Thank you very much for being there. I was so glad that I got to hang out with you guys. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and start twisting. Here we go. The first thing we're going to start with is the blush balloon. That's right. And we're gonna go ahead and make the baby body. If you don't know how to make it, don't worry, you're gonna learn how right now. We're gonna start with the arm, about three fingers there, and a one inch pinch twist. Then we'll go by the body, it's about four fingers. We'll do another pinch twist, and we're gonna come right back to that pinch twist from before, where the arm was. See that? So we match that up, gonna come right back. And now that we've got that, we're gonna go ahead and work on the legs. And they're about four or five fingers wide there. And just match that up and go across to the other pinch twist. There we go, so we get uh, what looks like when we're done is the letter A. There you go, so if you can make the letter A out of balloons, then you can make the baby body. There we go, we're gonna go ahead and break off the rest. Don't need that, go ahead and toss that up there. My photo booth is off to the left there actually, so I just tossed it up there, okay? And we can snip those off. I have my cutter there, you see, hanging, and it's a little bit messed up because I have the baby head uh, underneath my apron there but that's okay anyway uh, there we go and if I were doing this at an event this pink balloon actually wouldn't even be tied you could wrap that nozzle into that pinch twist and you'd be good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around that pinch twist I'm gonna pull it across and you notice that it doesn't match the size I want it to be a little bit bigger that way it'll bulge like a diaper there we go and we're gonna pull it across the back here do the same thing again around the pinch twist hopefully that's pretty easy to follow and if, if it's you know a little too fast for you, don't worry, just pause it, catch up, you'll be okay. And I'm just tucking away the scrap balloon there, don't need that. And now we can get our baby's head. Baby's balloon head. I might have to specify, maybe someone will take that out of context and say, he has baby heads. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take this balloon, I'm going to tie it into a loop. Okay, so that's all I did, and I, I just left a couple fingers on the end there. And this is our 160, but you could use a 260 if you don't have any. I think it'll be just fine. And we'll go ahead and trim that down. We don't need the little pieces left over there. Get rid of that. There we go. And again, we'll just find the middle. See, I'm just pulling it, I'm smashing it. I'm just going to pull it across there, and I'll roll that balloon, and then just bring the ends together. There we go. And what happens is we get a nice little loop, and you see I wrapped it around twice just so I wouldn't lose it. And now I have my baby head that I hid in beh hidden behind the apron. And I'm going to go ahead, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together. And again, it's one of those things, the baby head, you wouldn't even have to tie it off. But in this case, for instructional purposes, I didn't want to blow it up again. So I'm going to go ahead and push it down in between there. And I'm fishing for that nozzle now. So once the nozzle comes out of the back there, we can use that to anchor our wings. So they'll hold each other in place. And I wanted the wings right on the center of the back and that works out perfect when we do that. So again, I just pushed the nozzle down in between the two blush balloons, pulled it out the back where the pink and the blush meet, and now I can use that to attach the nozzle. Hopefully that makes sense. There we go, and we're done. Pretty easy to do. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to shape the wings a little bit, just a tad. 
you can see it barely you barely even notice it but anyway that is the design hopefully you find it really easy and you can add a little bow and arrow thanks for watching there it is so you can see a pretty simple cupid uh, for the most part of course when we teach uh, our time goes down but that's okay uh, just as long as you give it a good practice, you'll see how fast this can really be. And if you already make the baby body, this will be super simple to add the wings there. Again, uh, you know, traditionally or traditionally speaking, <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense at this point in terms of pulling that balloon across. If you make the other baby that doesn't have the wings on it, normally you would pull this pink balloon across like that. And it, that's how you would connect the head. Um, I'll probably put a link to that video as well. Um, and you'll see, man, that's an older video, but that doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, but anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, please comment down below if you try to make this or if you follow me on social media, post a picture of you making this and maybe add a little heart in the hand. Uh, I think that'll be nice and fun, huh? So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy twisting. Bye.